Just in the space of 10 years after the first electric telegraph line was constructed in America, Australia, namely the colony of Victoria, got its first telegraph line from Melbourne to Williamstown, a distance of some 17 kilometres in 1854. It would take New South Wales about three years to catch up, when in 1857 it laid a telegraph line between Sydney and Liverpool. It's Michael Beschel here, Australian historical fiction writer. Now I'll make a bold proposition that the telegraph was to the mid 19th century as the internet is for us today. Now it's a big statement, but I'm, I'm sort of I'm confident about it, I'm, I'm happy with that because, and I say that because there was definitely a tyranny of distance in not just not just in the enormous separation of the colonies of Canada and America from England and its attendant transportation times and communication difficulties. But purely just within England, the telegraph provided the rapidity of communication and facilitated action on all fronts in a far better way. There are a host of books available that describes the construction of the telegraph. And as a, as a writer, as a builder, I, I could be excused to get excited and, and, and talk about that wonderful piece of infrastructure. And more importantly, the people and the materials needed to build it. But let's just pause for a moment on that. I think it's necessary to talk about the telegraph and the way it provided a means of communication that before that time was not available. Again, the telegraph came online, to use, to use a modern idiom, in the, in the early Victorian period, and that's the one that we're currently looking at. And with the steamship and the gold discoveries, the telegraph would have been a boon for its users to communicate. Success and failures, and also the normal business activities it, it, it really facilitated this, this fantastic communication. While the construction of the overland telegraph was outside the period in which we are talking about, it happened about 1871, the introduction of the telegraph line, even in limited form and in short distances occurred during the early Victorian period. Let's pause. If you consider the distances in New South Wales and at the Bathurst mail coach took two days. The Bathurst mail coach took two days to get from Sydney to Bathurst. Imagine the communication that was, that was facilitated, especially with the gold fields, by the telegraph line. Now, we understand that the telegraph line did not reach Bathurst until the end of 1859, roughly. But in New South Wales and its vast distances, it, it would have been a boon to the economy. No doubt about that. The telegraph network, it made possible the universal and what we'd call today real-time decisions on business and commerce. And it facilitated the distribution of information, something that we all take for granted today. If something's not done within five seconds, it's, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't attract us. But at that time, it was groundbreaking. Before the telegraph, the shortest time for communicating information over long distances was governed by the greatest speed of a human, an animal or a ship. It was as simple as that. The telegraph quickly became essential for government and business, especially for stagecoach operations, for navigational information and, and for weather purposes, for the standardisation of time throughout this great continent and for news dissemination, and for the exchange of messages by all. So it eventually became like we know today using our mobile phones. It had such a universal and daily use, people became so used to it that the telegraph quickly became part of everyday life. The telegraph today, well, has disappeared as a form of, of communication probably died, I suppose, in the, in the early 1960s. It was the forerunner of the telephone system and other more advanced comm systems that we see today. But it had its origins in the early Victorian period. And for that, we must reference it definitely and we must celebrate it. That's all for The Telegraph from me, Michael Bischel. Now we'll talk 
We'll talk very soon on other videos. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.